Hey guys, welcome back to Oxange Wild C. Now today I have a surprise for you. I'm going to review the latest model RC FPV chicken. Here it is, coming out of the group. Look at that. Shiny black. And I'm kidding. Ah, uh, yeah, just couldn't resist. So today we have a non-original DJI uh, Phantom 3 battery that's manufactured by uh, Giphy Power, I think it was. Um, I contacted the company and got one you need to test and review. And I have to tell you, size-wise and looks-wise, this is identical to an original DJI battery. And uh, except for the writings and maybe the, the battery color, uh, everything else is pretty much identical. <clears throat> the battery flip uh, fits pretty well in the Phantom, just like the original charges, just like the original. Uh, <clears throat> and what's more important, it actually works with the latest DJI Go app and uh, with the latest version of the firmwares, and it doesn't say fake battery can't fly. And actually, just like the original batteries, you have all of the information on the screen. You can see here, um, <clears throat> it shows separate cell voltages, battery capacity. You can set uh, auto discharge days. Uh, it shows you how many cycles it has, temperature, flight time, etc. All of that information that you get with an original battery, you get with this battery. I've seen reviews of uh, non-DGI batteries before, and you didn't get that sort of information with them. And also the latest DGI uh, Go app uh, told you that this is a fake battery and, it, and the copter is not going to fly. But this... This just works now. Right here is on my it's on my tablet, and I'm using the uh, T two point six point one uh, app, which uh, doesn't do the check for an original battery. But uh, the last test I did was with the uh, three point one point one app on my phone, and you will see that. But right now I'm just testing uh, the battery itself, uh, not if it will work with the latest app. And you can see here, the temperature outside is around minus 10 degrees. I did preheat the battery to uh, avoid having the voltage sag issue. And you can see <clears throat> flight time was around 18 minutes. That's first flight ever. You can see the voltage, that's 20% remaining capacity when I actually uh, landed the copter and uh, recharge the battery. Now, it's winter here, so, you know, I have to uh, preheat the batteries if I want to uh, have the a long running flight. So for the second flight, um, different location, but same scheme, I preheated the battery a little bit. And uh, <clears throat> you can see here, it's 27 degrees out of the bat. So GPS is locked and I'm pretty much uh, ready to test it. Uh, this time I made sure to charge it to uh, really 100% to full capacity and uh, this is actually 4,400, uh, 4, just a little bit less than what it says on the battery itself. Uh, but you know, <clears throat> during the winter, if you preheat your batteries, this is what you get. Full flight, no voltage sag, no problems whatsoever. Now, this time around, I was a bit more brave. I uh, moved the copter around because I uh, flew one battery already and I know it's not going to uh, fall down. <clears throat> but still, uh, really, really nice. Pretty much identical in every respect to the original. If this had the same uh, writing as the original, Honestly, I will not be able to tell the difference and I'm consistently getting around 18 minutes of flight time on this. Uh, you know, in a few, in a few uh, charges, it will probably be more, but right now <clears throat> it's fine. 18 minutes is plenty and it's more than the original batteries that I have now, although they, uh, they have a few more cycles on them. So last test, uh, this is actually the fourth uh, charge of the battery and uh, this is on my phone now and this is with the uh, DJI Go 3.1.1 app 
and you can see it did not prevent me from uh, taking the copter up the video did froze on my phone though but the telemetry uh, kept coming in so you can see the battery voltage uh, throughout the flight flight was around uh, 18 minutes again and this is at around minus three degrees ambient temperature I noticed that the uh, battery temperature performance was <clears throat> a bit better right here and you know overall I've done four flights so far and this has been perfect uh, I landed 20% the voltage recovers really nicely you can see it here and <clears throat> you have all the information it's just like an original battery if you're interested in this thing uh, the link uh, would be in the description below uh, and uh, you know if you like this found it helpful subscribe and I will see you later